Welcome to another episode of quantum computing. In this episode, I will discuss the Hadamard gate, which is a fundamental building block in quantum computation. The Hadamard gate is represented by a 2 by 2 matrix considered within the set of complex numbers, although its entries are real numbers. When applied to the input ket0, the Hadamard gate transforms it to the superposition of ket0 and ket1 with equal probability. For the input ket1, the output is again a superposition of ket0 and ket1, but with a different phase for the state ket1. Recall that the superposition of ket0 and ket1 with the plus 1 phase is denoted as ket plus. And with the plus 1 and minus 1 phases for ket0 and ket1 respectively as ket minus. Also, remember that ket0 is a 2 by 1 column matrix with entries 1 and 0. While ket1 is a 2 by 1 matrix with entries 0 and 1. Note that ket0 is not the vector 0, which has all entries as 0. Applying the Hadamard gate twice returns the initial input, functioning as the identity gate. This implies that the Hadamard gate is its own inverse. Now consider a two qubit system with two parallel Hadamard gates. What would be the output? The output varies based on different inputs, resulting in four possible combinations. With the input 0 and 0, the output is a tensor product of the state plus and plus. Upon rearrangement, we observe that the output is a superposition of a binary representation of the numbers 0, 1, 2, and 3. With the input 0 and 1, the output is again a superposition of binary representation of the numbers 0, 1, 2, and 3, but with different phases. Generally, for a two-qubit system, if ket x and ket y are the inputs, where x and y are 0 and 1, the output is a superposition of binary representations of the numbers 0, 1, 2, and 3, and the phase is plus 1 if the inner product of the input string as a vector with the current binary string is even, and minus 1 if it is odd. Now consider n parallel Hadamard gates. However, the phase of each term is either plus 1 or minus 1, depending on the inner product of the input vector with the corresponding binary representation. Did you see what just happened? We created the superposition of all possible 2 to the n members of the input space with just n Hadamard gates. For example, with just 10 Hadamard gates, we could represent the superposition of all integers from 0 to 2 to the 10 minus 1, which is 1023. And this is the power of the Hadamard gate to create a superposition efficiently. Thanks for watching. Next time, we will dive into practical uses of multiple Hadamard gates. If you are interested in more quantum computing insights, please subscribe for updates. Your support means a lot. Stay tuned.